heat of reaction. This is the definition of heat of reactions. The heat of reaction is the heat absorbed in the reactions at standard state conditions between the number of moles of reactants shown in the equations of the reactions. This definition is less important compared to the definitions of the specific heat of reactions, for example, heat of displacement, uh, heat of uh, combustion, uh, that's more important. Okay, this one is written here is a heat absorbed and or released, uh, okay, not only absorbed, eh? heat absorbed or release, eh? or release at standard state. Uh, standard state is uh, at 25 degrees Celsius and uh, uh, pressure, uh, one standard atmospheric pressure. So this is the standard state. Eh? The standard state is uh, at 25 degrees Celsius, one standard atmospheric pressure. Um, so that is heat release or absorb eh? when uh, at standard state, when there's a number of moles of reactants shown in the equation for the reactions occurs. Eh? So that is uh, heat of reaction. Okay, the heat of reaction is represented by the symbol delta H. Uh, this triangle pronounced as delta. Delta, okay, so heat of reactions, delta H. And the unit of uh, delta H, uh, this heat of reaction is kilojoule per mole. This one is should be the superscript uh, per mole. And then for exothermic reaction, delta H is negative, and uh, for endothermic reaction, delta H is positive. Another thing that you need to know. For exothermic, delta H is negative, and for endothermic, delta H is positive. In SBM, there are a few heat of reactions that you need to know, and you need to memorize the definitions. Huh? Okay, the first one is heat of formation. Now, heat of formation is less important compared to the other four. Huh? Okay, in some book, uh, heat of formation is not given. Heat of formation is not given. Huh? This is less important compared to the other four. And then uh, heat of precipitation. Okay, that is the heat release when one mole of precipitate form. Heat of displacement, heat release when one mole of substance displaced. Heat of neutralizations and a heat of combustion. Okay, uh, heat of neutralization is a heat release when one mole of water form uh, during the neutralizations reactions, and uh, heat of combustions is the heat release when one mole of fuel combusted. So these are the heat of reactions that you need to know, and you need to memorize their definitions. Uh. I'll, I'll give you the definitions later. So this is the heat of reactions that you need to know. Okay, let's see the first one, uh, heat of formations. The heat of formation of a substance is the heat change. Heat change, it can be higher heat, it can be a uh, heat release or heat absorber, okay? Uh, required to produce one mole of the substance. Now this is very important, uh, okay? Because for different heat of reactions, uh, there are different uh, reference uh, substance for the calculations. For formations, we refer to one mole of substance produced, uh, okay? Heat change when one mole of the substance produced from its elements. And all substances are measured under standard state condition. As I told you, the standard state condition is uh, 25 degrees Celsius and uh, one, atmos uh, one standard atmospheric pressure. Uh, for example, the formations of uh, silver chloride. Silver chloride. So silver chloride forms uh, between silver and uh, chlorine. Silver. Silver, Ag, and then uh, chlorine, Cl2, and then uh, it will form silver chloride. So the heat of reaction is this delta H equals to negative 127 kilojoule per mole. Now, per mole is per one mole. Eh? Okay, this per mole eh, means per one mole. Per one mole, okay? Now, when we talk about per one mole, then you must know per one mole of what? Per one mole of what? So in this case, they already tell us that is per one mole of the substance produced. Okay, and the substance produced is this one. So this heat is uh, is the heat released when one mole of silver chloride formed. Okay, one mole of silver chloride formed. So always remember, heat of reaction, it must be the heat change per mole. Eh? And you always ask, always ask, per mole means per mole of what? Per mole of what? Eh? Uh, that is heat of formation. Okay, heat of precipitation. The heat of precipitation of a substance is the heat change when one mole of precipitate form from its solutions of ions under standard state conditions, okay? Uh, for example, heat of precipitation of lead sulfate. Uh, lead sulfate, uh, let's say lead sulfate is formed between lead nitrate, lead nitrate plus, uh, let's say, um, potassium sulfate, 
okay, or sodium sulfate. Let's put sodium sulfate. Eh? Sodium sulfate. What's the name of the salt formed? Okay, or give me the formula of the salt formed. The precipitate form. The precipitate form. Sorry. Okay, uh, there are three, two salt form, but uh, give me the the formula of the precipitate form. So lead sulfate, right? Okay, lead react with sulfate. It will form lead sulfate. Eh? Pb. SO4 because this is insoluble in water so it will form solid and at the same time uh, sodium nitrate is formed sodium nitrate is formed okay so this is the uh, equations and then the heat release is 50.4 kilojoule per mole now per mole means per one mole per one mole of what per one mole of the precipitate form and the precipitate is this one because this is the insoluble salt the insoluble salt will form precipitate in solutions eh? So that is the meanings of the heat of uh, reactions or heat of precipitations. Eh? Okay, how much heat release when one mole of uh, precipitate form? Okay, next one, heat of displacement. Heat of displacements of an element is the heat change when one mole of elements displaced. One mole of element displaced. For example, eh? okay, displacements of uh, copper. Copper from copper sulfate. Let's say we use zinc huh, to displace. Zinc react with copper sulfate, form a zinc sulfate, and then uh, the copper is displaced. And uh, these reactions will release 190 kilojoule per mole. Now per mole is per one mole, and uh, this is per one mole of element displaced. Eh? Element displaced, and the element displaced is this one. So that is the release, uh, heat release, eh? when one mole of copper displays, eh? one nine zero kilojoule per mole. Eh? Per mole means per one mole of copper displaced. Okay, so that is a uh, heat of displacement. Heat of neutralization is a heat change eh? when one mole of water form, water formed by neutralizations of hydrogen ions by hydroxide ion with measurements under. Uh, standard conditions eh? okay for example so let's say um, nitric acid okay hno3 nitric acid uh, react with uh, sodium hydroxide okay sodium hydroxide what's the salt form in this uh, neutralizations reactions or give me the formulas of the salt form sodium nitrate that's correct okay sodium nitrate eh? sodium nitrate and at the same time uh, water is released eh? water is released and the energy release is uh, 57 kilojoule per mole okay per mole is uh, per one mole of water okay per one mole of water form eh? okay per one mole of water form um i give you another example so eh? hcl uh, react with uh, let's say potassium hydroxide this is another alkali and it will form a uh, potassium chloride and at the same time uh, water release okay under this one also eh, the amount of heat release is the same if 57 kilojoule per mole of water as long as there's one mole of water form in a neutralization reaction then it will release a 57 kilojoule okay no matter uh, what kinds of the acid you use and what kinds of the alkali you use eh? uh, as long as there is a formation of one mole of water then it will release a 57 kilojoule heat energy okay so that is heat of uh, neutralization okay heat of combustion is the heat of combustion is the heat energy evolve or release when one mole of the substance is completely burned so this one, uh, combustions of one mole of the fuel, okay? Combustion of one mole of the fuel. For example, the so ethane, eh? ethane, uh, ethane is uh, C2H6, eh? C2H6, eh? C2H6. In combustions, in combustions, we need uh, oxygen. Tell me, what's the products of combustions of uh, ethane? What's the products of combustions of ethane? Carbon dioxide and water, okay, because this one uh, is the complete combustion, because they say it's a completely burn in oxygen, uh, it's a complete combustion, and for complete combustion, the product is a uh, carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide, so it's uh, CO2 uh, plus H2O, okay, let's uh, balance the equations, we have two carbons, so two carbons and uh, six hydrogen, therefore we need to have three water, 
and then uh, in total we have uh, seven oxygens uh, two times two say here we have four oxygens uh, two times two and then three times one oxygen so uh, four plus three uh, seven oxygen so we have seven oxygen but this one is O2 uh, so we need to divide it by two seven over two oxygens uh. so this is a heat release that uh, when one mole of the fuel this is a fuel burned uh, so when one mole of ethane burns then uh, this amount of heat release eh? okay so always remember when we talk about heat of reaction you must know per one mole of what per one mole of carbon dioxide or per one mole of oxygen but uh, for heat of combustion is per one mole of the substance burned this is a substance burns ethane is c2h6 eh? c2h6 uh, for c2h5 we have uh, c2h5oh or uh, c2h5cooh uh, this is ethanol. This is ethanoic acid. CnH2n plus 2, yes. Okay. So CnH2n plus 2. Okay. So when n equal to 2, when n equal to 2, uh, when n equal to 2, then is C2H2 times 2 plus 2, right? Okay. 2 times 2 plus 2 is 6. Uh, so therefore, it's C2H6. Y7 over 2 oxygens. Okay. Let's erase this first. Eh? Here we have uh, 2 times 2, eh? okay? O2, right? 2 times 2. So we have 4 oxygens. 4 oxygens. And here 3 times uh, 1, we have uh, 3 oxygens. Eh? I, think, I think I shouldn't write. It looks like 30, 40, okay? So you just need to know that uh, we have uh, 7 oxygens. Eh? But if you put 7 here, you put 7 here now. This is O2. This is O2, right? So 7, O2, then you're going to have uh, 14 oxygens right because each molecule has two oxygens so seven times two 14 but but here only have seven oxygen so we need to divide it by two so seven times two 14 14 divided by two then we have seven oxygens we do this only for uh, the equations of combustion only yeah? only for combustion only for the others we do not use fractions eh? uh, when we uh, balance the equations eh? especially when we balance the oxygens we use uh, fractions that is because this is O2. If you put 7, 7 times O2, then we have 14 oxygens. Eh? So we need to divide it by 2. Uh, the heat of combustion, eh? okay. The heat change of combustion applies to the complete combustion only. Eh? Okay, because uh, for combustion, we have complete combustions and incomplete combustions. And for incomplete combustions, the products may be carbon monoxide or uh, just carbon. But uh, for heat of combustion, we it only applies to the complete combustion that produce carbon dioxide only. Combustions always release uh, energy, release heat, right? Okay, when you, you when you burn something, it release heat, eh? okay? So therefore, the heat of combustion is always negative. So that's something that you need to know.